Wilson and Tomac all go through. They all needed the points, but of Tomac round the outside of Dean Wilson. This is an awesome performance from Daylight Tomac alongside Wilson, outside, inside, using all the racetrack and a little bit more. And Tomac has definitely got his A game here. And he's looking on for a possible, well, you'd say a top three. He could even win the race here because he's within about 10 seconds now of Gauthier Portland. First, he's got to find a way past Dean Wilson. Dean Boy, Wilson would can't, be... afford to, can't afford to leave, uh, lose points for Great Britain here. Starting to close up a little bit here, and just France has had such an outstanding day. All of the finishes have been single digits as Tomac trying to make his way around Wilson. Wilson's not going to give that inside up. But for France, if they had one, if, uh, if either one of their riders made a huge mistake here, uh, that would be a big problem for them. You're going to do him here. Down the and here they go. Tomac still working on Dean Wilson so hard. Wilson slams the door. Huge ruts and massive bumps going down through that section. Tomac going to cut across on Wilson. Can't make it happen. But he's leaving it all on the table here. Oh, and I believe this is it around the outside. That's going to give Tomac to fifth. Dean Wilson will go back to sixth. Great riding, a great lap. I'm glad we had that whole lap there, Jim, because it just illustrates how hard Tomac is working here. He was down on the first turn at the start of this race with, I think, Arno Tonis once again. That's the second time those two have connected on that first corner, but he is, like I say, leaving nothing on the table here, and it's just basically got him up into fifth place. He's now about two or three seconds, well, he was three seconds down on this guy here, number 15. But look how much time he's closed up already. Dylan Ferrandis looking on there. His work is done in MX2. He knows they are, well, 12 and a half minutes plus two laps away from a possible Second Nations victory. And it'll be the first time for Dylan Ferrandis on the team. But look at the work. There is down the inside of Frossard. There's Tomac, a three-second gap within a space of a half a lap. He's pulled back to nothing. Yeah, and any mistake out of Frossard here, uh, possibly, then that would... Uh, as he runs right now with a uh, fourth, they would have to count one of their ninth place finishes. So that would be five more, but still uh, with the lead that France has right now as they run with about 11 points. So they've got some points to work with. Certainly that's why uh, uh, you're seeing uh, his French teammate there, Dylan Ferrandis, uh, in such good spirits here, but uh, still with quite a bit of racing left. Tomac is on it here. He's got two guys ahead of him, Stephen Frossard. We saw him last time around when he passed Dean Wilson. He went wide, wide through these next couple of corners here, and he's going to have the inside line down into the uh, the hunt just alongside pit lane. It is so much work to ride the, the wide line. You have to stay on the throttle. You're definitely uh, using so much energy physically. Oh, comes up the inside here over the roller. Makes it stick. Tomac goes through to third, to fourth place now. Wow, fourth place. And at the stripe last time around, he was nine seconds off of the lead, battling through the pack. A 53-8 compared to a 54-1. So not much in it between Thornham. Thornham has good track though. Yeah, but Tomkoff was a 56, and Van Horvick a 55. So Tomac, fastest man on the track right now and he's got two positions directly in front of him on the same straightaway Paul in like we mentioned about nine seconds out but with 10 minutes and two laps to go at the way that that Tomac is riding it is conceivable that from that fall in the first turn that he could possibly with the type of effort challenge for the lead where was this performance in race one uh, well, that's that's the great thing about it is that you have a chance to, uh, if you're not happy again. with it, you Brand, get... Around the outside of Tonkoff and then going to switch it back and wide again, and that's another position, so... Oh, I did to the inside! Oh, he made it, he wasn't going to go around the outside, wow. so Tomac up the third. Okay, remember the first, his first race, which was race two, he stalled out, he was he was very conservative, could not pass Leon. He, here, he's taken a, a completely different approach, laying it all on the line, which he needs to for Team USA to have a chance to be on the podium. This fitness guy, the, the fitness levels of this guy are absolutely incredible here because he has had to work so hard in the second moto. He is letting these guys know that, you know, he is certainly one of the fastest guys around on a 450. Watch this here. He switched it to the outside, then to the inside. This is the pass on the 22 of Alexander Tonkov, and he made the inside at the end of it all, Jeff. Yeah, watch right here, taking a wide line, hard on the throttle. Carries a lot of momentum right here. Confident that he's just going to cut the Geico Honda back to the left. Oh, almost missed the inside berm there, but... But if he was sat down, he would have. He was Man on a mission, up. I can tell you that. 
Here's one more look at it right here. Yeah, nice. And we are looking at Tomac now, 8.4 seconds down off of Gautier Plornan here, your race leader. Well, and, re and remember, with the type of points lead, when you combine all the scores and throw one away that France has, if Tomac was able to catch the leader, he's going to get the message from his mechanic in the, in the mechanics area on the pit board that you don't need to win this for France to win. So he does have, going to be very conservative. Gauthier Paulin then continues to lead, 14 France, 8 minutes 20 on the clock plus 2 laps. He's got a clear track ahead of him at the moment, Jeff. Jeremy Van Horvick 2.6 seconds behind, but a performance of the race, probably one of the most prolific performances of the uh, Motocross of Nations competition in recent history from Eli Tomac coming from the deck at Turn 1, going down at the start of this race. He's now up in the third, he's still got plenty in the tank as well. Eight minutes to go, and he's only eight and a half off the leader, Gauthier Cornet. Yeah, and Tomac about a, a second, second and a half quicker per lap than the two riders in front of him, and as this race goes